Good morning, folks. Bryony Thomas here, author and founder of Authortype Marketing. I'm here today for day six of 10 days marking and celebrating um, my 10 years in business. Can't believe it. 10 years ago today, I was um, a recent corporate escapee. And here I am a decade later as the owner of this fabulous business. So to celebrate that, we are um, doing 10 days, and this is we're halfway through, um, of 10 things that I've learned, 10 lessons that you guys can um, also share in, comment on and bring your own learnings. And also 10 days of giving away wonderful gifts to celebrate this, the 10 years that we've had. So you can take part by commenting um, on, the, uh, on the link um, on the video below, wherever it is. If you're live with me on Facebook, please do comment now. If you're watching on the replay, please feel free to comment. I will check back. In terms of getting involved with the um, with the promotion, there's a there's a link on our um, on the comments, and you can pop your details in there to get involved. In fact, I've just put the wrong one. Oh, I'm going to change change my link. There we go. <laughs> um, so I will put the the link there, and you can get involved. So today, what am I talking about today, and what is the gift today? So today, I'm talking about the power of visuals and um, the reason I want to talk about the power of visuals is that I think it's one of the things that often sets a business apart. And what do I mean by visuals? I mean visualizing your ideas. I mean visuals in terms of photography that expresses your humanity. I mean visualization of processes, all sorts of things that essentially activate the visual cortex. And um, in order to, to celebrate that and to mark that, what we're giving away today is 10 um, of these wonderful posters. So these posters are designed by Lizzie Everard who was the, the um, illustrator who did all the conceptual imageries for the book and she um, designed this fabulous poster it's A1 it's got every single leak and all of the bullet points that um, allow you to very quickly navigate to the part in the book that would be appropriate to use it's a fantastic thing to have on the wall um, with your team so why do I think visuals are so important well it's because it's the way our brain works. So um, lots of people can um, use written content and uh, spoken content, but often what's missing and what will make one business, which is to all intents and purposes quite similar to another, not stand out as much, is the visuals. And I know that in writing the Watertight Marketing book, it was really important to me to get the visuals right. Um, and what they uh, express is what I do on whiteboards. I, I stand up and I, um, and I draw. And so it was important for us to get visuals um, in terms of conceptual imagery that anybody could learn and also draw. And you'll see this um, time and time again. So anyone who's watched the Simon Sinek TED Talk on Start With Why or read his book will know that he's absolutely famous for the target diagram. And it's only three circles, but the fact is that it gets into your mind and then can be communicated visually. And I think communicating visually is exceptionally important. So if you go back through through um, the lessons over last week, I said celebrate your successes. And one of the key things with celebrating your successes is to photograph it. I've been going back over my 10 years and I really wish we had more photos of the journey. So if, if you're early in your journey, um, photograph it. I would suggest that you book in with a photographer maybe once a year and do a kind of um, photographic diary and montage of your journey. We I've been working with um, two photographers so I've worked for many years with Amanda Thomas, um, Am uh, Amanda from Amango Photography, and Amanda has come along to our workshops. She's photographed all of our consultants, and it's important to have that consistent visual style. We also recently worked with um, Lydia Derecka from um, Visible. I've probably said that wrong, Lydia, um, but if you look up Visible, and she came and did a day shoot of um, me in action, me doing what I'm doing, and also um, photos of the book, photos of the workbook, photos of me signing the book for just me doing a webinar um, and they've been really really uh, really useful in putting the website together and lots of visual material so book it in to get that sort of photography done on a regular basis and I would say annually or perhaps every two years get that sort of photo shoot booked in but obviously photos aren't the only visuals I've talked about um, conceptual imagery and some of you are going to say, well, I haven't got concepts, Bridie. I haven't got a bank of intellectual property like you. Why am I, why would I, what would I be visualizing? 
I think anyone can visualize a process. Um, on one of our um, one of our master plan delegates is um, a graphic designer called Christian Tate, and of course he has a visual brain. He's a designer, um, but one of the most powerful visuals he created um, when we're talking about onboarding was a process diagram. And of course, Christian's was beautiful because he's a designer. But you could sit down with key with PowerPoint or or Word and do a flow diagram and just get your process captured. What happens when? Even if you're dispatching goods from a warehouse you can visualize the process um, so do take some time to um, do flow diagrams do process diagrams have photography done and also visualize your ideas so um, how can you do that you do that by getting getting a whiteboard up and then getting an illustrator to turn those into nice images what i would also recommend if you are having um process diagrams or conceptual imagery created make sure that when you get the illustrator to draw them that they get they get given back to you in layers so um, you have each element of the drawing as separate line diagrams so that you can animate them in presentations or in video. So if it's a line drawing, then you need each line separately so that you can build the diagram being drawn. So if you're briefing imagery, um, particularly process uh, diagrams or conceptual imagery, make sure you get them layered so that you can do a build in a presentation um, or in a video. Uh, get your photography booked in on a regular basis and create visual content. So some people who are phenomenal at this, go and have a look at the valuable content website. Have a look at their content uh, marketing map. It's a work of art. Um, and that how, thinking in this way really brings it to life. Um, so go and have a look at that for, uh, for some inspiration. And then, of course, there is the um, visualization of data, so infographics. Um, there's a great book, I'll see if I can find a link, called um, Data is Beautiful or Information is Beautiful. I'll see if I can find the link. Um, and we gave it away at, a, at an event a few years ago. It's a fantastic book for inspiring you for ways to present things visually. So if you've got some great customer um, customer service stats, for example, so 90% of people think it's brilliant. Represent that visually. So have an image of 99 people with 90 of them colored one color and 10 of them colored another color. So think about the ways that you can bring your stats to life, your processes to life with visuals. Because the moment you, um, the moment you engage the, the kind of visual part of the brain, um, it, it means that you've engaged the brain. It means that they've noticed you. And that is the first step to getting engagement. And from engagement, you get conversations. And from conversations, you get conversions into sales. It will set you apart from um, your competitors. And this doesn't have to be a big expenditure. So we, we talk about um, outthinking rather than outspending your competitors. And so let's say you've got one group of accountants and another group of accountants and, and these guys, um, it's all words and figures. And the other guys, they're visualizing their process. They're visualizing the impact that their accountancy could have on your bottom line. It's immediate. That you can feel it. You can see it. And even if you're not visualizing in visuals, you can visualize in metaphor. So this is something I would encourage you to do when you're coming up with your ideas, when you're catching and describing what your business does, see if you can express it in a visual metaphor. It's been really important for us to talk about um, buckets, funnels and taps and people picture these things in their head. And all I have to do is say buckets, funnels, taps, and people get it. So have a think about um, how you can express your story in visual metaphor, diagrams, conceptual images, photos of you in action. These are all really important to build into the way you express yourself. And I truly believe, truly believe, um, no doubt there are stats out there to prove it, um, that people who communicate visually set themselves apart from those who don't. And so today we're giving away 10 of our beautifully visualized um, uh, diagrams here. So if you would like one of our fantastic posters um, put in the post, do go to the link that we've put in the comments um, and you can put your name in the hat and we will do a draw of 10 people towards the end of this week when I'm back at my desk and we will pop that in the post to you. If you already have a poster, you can tell us um, someone else to send that to um, and we will pop it in the post to them courtesy of you. That's it from me today. Um, I will be back 
uh, at, at around 10 a.m. every day for the rest of this week. Um, do tune in every day because we still have lots of really fantastic prizes um, to give away. And I would be particularly mindful of putting Friday, 10 a.m. on Friday, um, in your diary. I say 10 a.m. It's going to be midday because I'll be on Q&A. Midday this Friday, we are giving away the biggest gift of this 10 days. So do put midday this Friday in your diary and put your name in the hat for that poster. Lots of love from me. See you tomorrow.